It's Highway 83 in the area blocked off to traffic. We'll take you there live in less than 90 seconds. Plus, a backlog of COVID cases finally over in Hidalgo County. Officials there now able to report a clearer picture of the COVID threat to the community and the threat that they're currently facing. And the state of the city is strong. Harlingen holding its state of the city address today. The economic growth they say the city is seeing and what it means for residents. Also ahead at five, UTRGV students taking the next step in their career to become a doctor. Channel 5 News at 5 starts now. Live from the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. And we begin with that breaking news out of Star County. Parts of Highway 83 in that area close as crews work to get that fire under control. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Oscar Rodani. And I'm Dina Herrera Garza. Right now, Rio Grande City officials telling us the fire has burned 756 acres and two homes were destroyed. Let's get straight to Trevier Gonzalez. Trevier, I understand they just reopened the road to some drivers. What's the situation? Oscar, that is correct. This is just within the past half hour. We see this westward traffic on Expressway 83 opening up. Now, when you mentioned just how many acres have burned, that is the reality. We've seen it really as far as the eye can see. We see instances of things really still on fire. And once again, it's just a smoky environment, and it seems as if it's going to be kind of lingering for some time. Now, just in the past half hour, once again, those roads have reopened. Traffic itself is still running far slower than that things are actually still running a little bit better than in the past hour. Now we're told that two homes have been lost as a result of this brush fire, a significant impact compared to Tuesday when only three structures were lost. Now this is all happening as the Sullivan City Fire Department had said yesterday that a fire weather watch would be in effect until today. So far we've seen a number of agencies respond, including firefighters are as far west as San Juan. Now we have not been able to get an idea of the containment levels here because of this, um, excuse me, but we have been able to see once again that those smoke levels over here, the big impact is really going to be really right over here. There we've been seeing billows and billows of smoke at this point. We have not been able to hear from any of those agencies directly, but we are monitoring their Facebook pages from Sullivan City as well as Rio Grande City, as well as the, the, the Star County Sheriff's Office. We'll continue to give you updates as soon as we can. But for now, live in Star County, Trevor Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 5. Other parts of the state also seeing wildfires today. This is Eastland County near Fort Worth. So far there, more than 45,000 acres have burned. Right now, it's only about 10% contained. First Warren 5 meteorologist Alan Shoemaker checking in with us right now. And Alan, today our weather, at least uh, the weather we had, uh, creating some conditions that can help fuel a fire like the one we've seen here and possibly what was happening up near Fort Worth. Okay, so what can we expect for the rest of the day and into the weekend, Alan? Yeah, it's all that dry air that's been coming in behind a cold front that moved through and some breezy conditions and also add in the fact that the ground is getting very dry across much of Texas and in the valley. Now we still have this fire weather watch or actually a high uh, red flag warning it is uh, basically you think of it as like fire weather conditions continuing into early this evening. It's been extended until six o'clock from what we had earlier today. Winds may gust still occasionally about 25 miles per hour and the humidity is quite low, but conditions will improve as the evening goes on, the gusty winds will tend to settle down. They are still seeing some gusts occasionally around 20 miles per hour. That includes into parts of Star County. But again, the winds kind of fading away more as the evening goes on. And the sun is out right now. It's keeping it very warm, but temperatures will cool off more in the evening as we'll fall through the 60s, probably in the 50s in most areas late tonight. So the cooler temperatures will help out a little bit. We do see a dry weekend continuing. We'll see if there's any rain chances down the road in your first one by forecast here coming up. Developing news in Hidalgo County, health officials are finally all caught up on the backlog of COVID test results, a sign they say the last major wave of infections has slowed. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing joining us with what this means for the county going forward. Christian. Dina, a lot of hospitals in the Valley, Hidalgo County, having to deal with the cases that we've seen since last Christmas. That backlog that we're talking about made it harder to understand how many people were actually getting sick per day. Hidalgo County was doing their testing. There were some 200 private vendors, nearly 200 private vendors, doing their own testing and then submitting those results to the state. The state was having this delay in getting the results back to the county. So the end result, somebody who got sick weeks ago would just be hearing about it now. Hidalgo County says there were tens of thousands of cases in backlog, many of them part of the Omicron wave. 
Getting through that backlog means they can focus now on just reporting new cases, positive COVID tests in the last week or two, giving us a more accurate picture of how many people are actually getting infected per day. The reason it's a milestone is because it's a large number. I mean, we're talking about near, over nearly 45,000 cases that accumulated in a matter of three to five weeks uh, because we had 186 vendors in Hidalgo County who were testing. Uh, and really, the Omicron really didn't hit the valley until right around Christmas time. That backlog's clear for now, but Olivares says it's all subject to change if we do get a new wave. And he does expect to see more infections from spring break, as we've seen from other holidays. And he says the next variant, it's not a matter of if, but when. And he says when that happens, we are going to see another similar backlog, making administrative issues harder to deal with. Chris Von Pricing, Channel 5 News. Some good news, though, the CDC updating community levels for our area, Star and Willacy counties joining Cameron County in the low COVID risk levels. That's down from medium last week. Hidalgo County now going from the high range down to the, that medium range. Today, the third match day in the history of UTRGV School of Medicine. More than 50 students learn where they will be spending the next three to seven years of residency. Channel 5's Crystal Martinez live at the university now. Crystal. Oscar, right now you can probably see, but I'm actually standing right in front of UTRGV School of Medicine, where earlier I was here watching students take one step closer to being a physician. Now, Dean Michael Hawker with the School of Medicine says that 50% of students will stay in Texas and 20% in the Valley, something that's needed after health professionals have been leaving due to the stress the pandemic caused. And keeping students here is something Hawker says will help add more health care to the region. Hopefully we can keep more of the, the Valley kids and those in Texas here in the Rio Grande Valley taking care of the patients uh, here. Many of them are from Texas. We'll hope we'll be able to recruit them back. Now coming up at 6, you're going to see what students tell us about what it was like learning through a pandemic. Krista Martinez, Channel 5 News at 5. Despite all of the challenges brought on by the pandemic these last two years, Harlingen has continued to thrive. Indeed, the state of the city is strong. Well, Harlingen Day holding their State of the City address, looking back to appreciate where the city is today and building for the future. Channel 5's Rudy Mireles joins us from the convention center there. And Rudy, like other State of the City addresses that we've covered, it all comes down to the economy. Yes, economic outlook, a very important thing discussed here at the Convention Center for this year's Harlingen State of the City Address. That's one of the things they really wanted to drive home to residents. That, along with the growth in 2021, despite the pandemic, as you just heard Mayor Chris Boswell say. But there was another target audience today, and that was businesses out of town looking to come into town to expand. Today's State of the City Address in Harlingen boasting population growth over the last decade. The city seeing an increase of almost 11 percent. That's almost double Brownsville's growth and edging out McAllen for the top spot. Mayor Chris Boswell says numbers like that are good for future economic impact. It will help us attract more business, retail outlets, restaurants, which rely almost exclusively on census figures and making their determinations on where to locate. New business already having an economic impact. From 2011 to 2021, the city growing from just under $19 million in sales tax revenue to $30 million last year. And the city is on track to beat that number this year. Boswell explaining why that's a good thing for residents. It means that we can pay our share of grants for drainage improvements. And it means that we can keep our property taxes low. Drainage improvements a constant battle for residents. Aside from work already done, another $14 million worth of improvements are on the books for this year including an additional $6.2 million on a study to address future projects. This new data will provide a solid foundation toward providing a cohesive regional approach and solving many of the existing drainage challenges in our region. It wasn't just the economic outlook boasted by the mayor today. The city's partnerships with UTRGV, a big part of the city's plans for the future, including the university's Institute of Neuroscience, which opened in October. Eon will house the state's only, the state's only National Institute on Aging designated 
Alzheimer's Disease Research Center to help examine and better understand how this disease impacts Hispanics. In addition to updating residents on ION today, a major announcement of a new UTRGV school coming to the city, the first of its kind in the entire state. Now coming up at six, we'll hear more from the mayor as well as UTRGV's president on the future of the ties between the two organizations going forward and how they think that's going to have a big impact for good on residents valley wide. Live in Harlingen, Rudy Medellis, Channel 5 News at 5. An accident in Star County leaves a one 11 year old dead. Another child in the hospital, the latest on the investigation. And a teen is behind bars connected to a deadly conduct investigation in Hidalgo County. The update to this story we first brought you last night at 10. Channel 5 News at 5 will be right back. The traffic report is supported by Jay Gonzalez Injury Attorneys. Now at Verdog and Mazda, you can choose from a great selection of new Mazda CX-5s. Drive one today and save with 0.9% APR for up to 36 months. At two locations, Verdog and Mazda Mission and Edinburgh. Verdog makes it easy. Dale gas! Golden Chick is your new favorite seafood place. I didn't know Golden Chick had catfish. It's great. Crispy on the outside, flavorful on the inside. Farm-raised, hand-breaded, and now you can get it with shrimp. It's fantastic. Golden Chick. What's a better combo than that? Technically nothing. It's the Rooms to Go Kids anniversary sale. Time for amazing savings on epic kids' beds. Big on style and function. Get twin beds starting at $325. Check out our super sale prices on complete bedrooms in a ton of go-to styles. It's the best selection around. Shop bunks and lofts with built-in desks. Save big on bookcase beds, upholstered beds, or rooms with storage. Plus, finance interest-free for 66 months at the Rooms to Go Kids anniversary sale. Nothing beats a healthy smile in your child, but your smile matters too. That's why Sanan Orthodontic Studios offers personalized services just for you. Our exclusive office specializes in diverse braces, aligners and retainers, TMJ and sleep apnea treatment, surgical orthodontics, and more. Dr. Z is an ABO board certified orthodontist with over 20 years of experience. Schedule your complimentary consultation today, complete with state-of-the-art imaging and a custom-tailored treatment plan. Sanan Orthodontic Studios. Live, laugh, love your smile. Rio Grande Valley Livestock Show is here and rocking this too. Come celebrate this great show with our great packages. Starting as low as $250 per month, including tractor, loader, shredder, box blade, and 18-foot trailer. And let us save you a bucket full of dollars. Don't miss this opportunity to see the best equipment in the valley at the best prices. Excel in your field with LS tractors. Dare to compare? Before you buy. At Clark Chevrolet and Clark Knapp Honda, we respect you and will give you the experience that you deserve. That's why at the Clark Family Stores, there's no markup above MSRP on any new Chevrolet or Honda trucks, SUVs, or passenger cars. When you buy a truck, SUV, or passenger car from us, you're paying for what has value for you. The finest vehicles, accessories, and customer service available. That value is our commitment to you, our valley friends and neighbors throughout 2021. Come see why it's simply better when we're family at Clark Chevrolet and Clark Knapp Honda. Let's take a look at traffic. Here's the Brownsville area. Right now, things are looking good on 69E north and southbound, but we are seeing a minor delay on westbound Texas 48, shown in the yellow. Things are looking good in Harlingen, but delays continue in the far interchange, especially where 69C southbound meets I-2 westbound. Here's some drive times. It'll take you 17 minutes from Harlingen to Raymondville and 38 minutes from Harlingen to McAllen. If you have an accident report, please call 956-968-5555. Back to you. A Star County family is mourning the death of an 11-year-old boy. The family providing us this picture of Ricky Olivares Garza. The Star County Sheriff's Office confirms he died in an ATV accident yesterday on Woods Brothers Road. Deputies say several kids were on the ATV when it crashed. The others on the vehicle were hospitalized. We know at least one was in stable condition. New details on a story we first told you about last night at 10. A 16-year-old now facing charges connecting to this scene at Azul Street near and mile 11 near Waslico last night. The sheriff's office says one person is also in the hospital recovering. Deputies say they responded there to a feud between family members when one person at the scene 
hit three other vehicles with their car. That case remains under investigation. If you have any information that can help investigators, though, you're asked to contact the sheriff's office at 383-8114. Sunshine is back for Saturday. It looks like a really nice day. Low humidity, sunshine, light breezes, and high temperatures mostly in the 70s. We'll track some warmer weather still returning next. I know this may look like a classic rooftop chasing. But it's an Nissan salesman ad. Right on cue. This rogue's got more power than that CRV. You might want to hold on. Hurry in and save up to 4262 on select models. The action never ends, but these offers will. It's Para Furniture and Appliance Center's great $3 million store closing sale. After 49 years, we're closing our doors. Now everything goes at liquidation sale prices. You may never, ever find prices this low again at Para Furniture and Appliance Center. A great smile has never been brighter. Between looking your best and good times with friends, smiling <laughs> is the ultimate confidence. Join the party with the coolest dental services in town. Come see what we're all about. World-class doctors and super fun staff. Be the best you and turn your world upside down. Cleanings, braces, and family dentistry for everyone. Book your appointment today at RodeoDental.com. Take any road in a new Jeep Wrangler and save $2,200 or save with 0% financing available during the Jeep Celebration event at Bird Ogden Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Harlingen. Bird Ogden makes it easy. Dolly Gas. Initial measurement is complete. Begin go, no go terminal count. Sis 1, go. Sis 2, go. Hold the launch, we're missing supplies. Ma'am, there's a vehicle approaching the launch pad. Right on time. Order for George? Thanks, partner. We can't orbit on an empty stomach. Truck Month is here at Real Motor Company in Rio Grande City. Hi, I'm Billy Canales, and our goal is to put you in the truck you want. New inventory is arriving daily, so stop by or visit us online. Take advantage of 0% financing on select models, and that's on both Chevy and GMC in one convenient location, Real Motors. Get $5,000 off MSRP on this 2022 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab. Come to Truck Month and come home to Real Motor Company in Rio Grande City. First Warn 5 Weather is supported by DHR Health. Now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Alan Shoemaker. It's Friday. It's the end of Texas week here coming up. And beautiful day out there at the island. It's still a bit on the breezy side, but the sun is out. Temperatures are in the 60s. Water temperatures are in the 60s, but you see a few people out there on the beach enjoying the day. And it's very sunny tomorrow. Maybe a little less breeze in today, but if you want to get out at the beach this weekend. Plenty of blue sky tomorrow. Highs mostly in the upper 60s. The temperature varies only a few degrees really throughout the day. Probably 60s throughout the day. Maybe touching 70 in a few spots at the island. About 70 on Sunday, but the clouds may thicken late in the day, but it gets a little breezy at times in the afternoon, but still a pretty good amount of sunshine most of this weekend. Inland Sky 5 in Wessico is still looking pretty sunny as well, and temperatures are currently in the 80s. We'll be dropping, though, a little more tonight because of the dry air behind the cold front that moved through. So it will be a little chillier late tonight and early tomorrow morning if you're up. So these temperatures will be tomorrow morning. But, you know, if you're out, you saw the evening planner earlier. If you're out late in the evening, like around 10 or 11, it's probably going to be upper 60s or so by then. But later tonight, it drops down into the 50s. That uh, high fire danger is still around today. Uh, the red flag warning is still in effect for about another 45 minutes or so for all the Valley counties except for the eastern edge of Cameron and Wilson counties. But we will see improving conditions as the winds die off more tonight and temperatures cool off. So tomorrow, not as breezy as today. It'll still be a little breeze at times, maybe gusting to 20 or 25 miles per hour here and there. But look at all that sunshine on the map. Pretty much clear skies most of tomorrow. Very few clouds and temperatures back in the 70s for highs in most areas. Really, really nice weekend on Saturday. And Saturday night looks fairly cool again. Sunday, we may start off with sunshine, but the clouds may start to thicken late in the day. So don't be surprised to see more clouds, some maybe arriving later in the afternoon and evening. But I think overall, Sunday is still a fairly bright day. As the clouds thicken Sunday night, you might see a sprinkle or two in the overnight hours and Monday morning, but tiny amounts, if any, of rain. It looks like very little 
rainfall is in the forecast for a while, but Monday we're probably back into another breezy, warmer, more humid day. If you want to hit the livestock show tomorrow, sunshine everywhere, temperatures in the 70s pretty much all afternoon long, light breezes from the east and northeast, and dry weather continues in Mercedes and across the valley. Still might be sneezing a little bit though, some dust blowing in, maybe even a little bit of smoke from up north, but the pollen level still pretty consistently in the, the same levels that they have been. The tree and mold pollen remains high through the weekend coming up. So the winds also, remember, will be fading more tonight. There's still a light breeze around tomorrow, a gust about 20 to 25 miles per hour in some spots, but not as windy overall as today. And the first one five AccuWeather seven day forecast highs in the seventies tomorrow and probably most areas on Sunday. Spring begins Sunday morning. Monday really warms up again. It gets breezy highs in the upper eighties. There is another cold front moving in on Tuesday. It's similar to what we saw today in, in that it will be dry, windy weather. So you may have to watch for some fire weather concerns on Tuesday afternoon, but behind that front, not a sharp cool down, but it does get pretty nice with highs in the 70s again over, over Wednesday and Thursday with lows in the 50s. Some very nice days there and then a little warmer by Friday. But you notice the rain chances almost absent from this forecast. You could say once in a while there might be a sprinkle maybe on Monday or late next week. But dry weather mostly as a rule and we'll keep tracking it here in your first one five forecast on Channel 5 News at 5. And up next at 5, we continue tracking breaking news from Star County, giving you a live look there. A fire, a brush fire burning more than 700 acres. Highway 83 blocked in both directions at one point this afternoon. The La Paloma community, a great concern there earlier today. Our Trevier Gonzalez on the ground will have an update when we come back. Coming up next, the backlog of tens of thousands of COVID cases finally caught up in Hidalgo County. Health officials now able to report a clearer picture of the COVID threat in the community. We'll explain tonight at 6. Every road has its challenges. We say, bring them on. At Honda, we engineer each vehicle to outthink obstacles, to overcome difficult conditions. We engineer them for drivers who are determined to power through, just like you are. Rise to the challenge with the rugged performance of the Honda Ridgeline, Pilot, and CRV. For more than 35 years, Cold Air has serviced over 20,000 customers in the Rio Grande Valley. When anybody needs to have anything done, we always recommend Cold Air. And they will take care of their customers very well. Now's the perfect time of year to replace that old AC system of yours with manufacturer rebates up to $1,700 off or 0% financing for up to 72 months for well-qualified buyers. We're a family-owned business that's been trusted for generations, and we earn that trust one customer at a time. Give us a call today. Monster Jam. Don't miss a minute of the action. Tickets on sale now. The fun begins at the pit party where you can see the trucks up close. Get your $20 pit party pass at monsterjam.com today. Restrictions may apply. Coming to Pain Arena this weekend. Put an end to junk sleep at Mattress Firm. For a limited time, get a king bed for the price of a queen or a queen for a twin and save up to $500 on our wide selection of top selling brands. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying Sealy purchase up to a $4.99 value. Or shop Hot Buys and get up to 50% off like Sealy Queen mattresses starting at $3.24.99. Or Sleepies at $1.99.99. In stock for fast delivery only at Mattress Firm. and 10-speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. GMC, we are professional grade. And right now, we continue to track breaking news out of Star County. Authorities reopening Highway 83 within the last hour. A fire forcing them to shut it down for a few hours. Yeah, city officials there in Rio Grande City telling us that fire destroying two homes. Trevier Gonzalez is live there at the scene. And Trevier, what can you see from your vantage point there? 
Yes, it's been at least in a uh, since we last came back with you, we moved about a whole mile westward and we are able to see once again that same story. Those charred remains are something that happens right over here. Now, we wanted to move just so we can show just how much has changed. Now, this is that smoke of that fire. It's happening from this overall area. We see a lot of private land area. So what I can say in an update from the Texas a and Forest Service is that they say that 45% of this fire has been contained, but as you can see, just how much has been affected, we're looking at more than a thousand acres that has been burned. Now we have seen agencies come in and out. Once again, we do see officers on certain areas blocking portions of the road. We have been told by the city of Rio Grande City that uh, they are there are instances where roads are being blocked just due to visibility issues associated with the smoke. But at this point, uh, once again, we are checking in with all the agencies that are responding, at least the main ones within this particular area. We'll continue to follow up as well at 6 o'clock or later today. For now, Trevor Gonzalez, Channel 5 News, back to you. Lox is celebrating 87 years with anniversary hot buys all month long, like the Lone in Bedroom set, now only $9.97, or the Amherst Dining set, just $7.97, in stock and ready to deliver. Visit lax.com for more. How about sushi? I just had sushi for lunch yesterday. <laughs> How about tacos? Tacos. Automatic emergency braking, one of six advanced safety features standard on every 2022 Chevy Equinox. Find new technology, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Equinox models. Or current competitive owners can get 750 bonus cash. New models are arriving weekly. Secure yours today. Who is Idea Public Schools? I'm Idea. Yo soy IDEA. I am IDEA. IDEA is a learning environment where teachers connect, engage, and inspire. I am IDEA. IDEA is a tuition-free public school open to all, where students are prepared for college and life. Your child's journey to college begins at IDEA. Visit IamIDEA.org to learn more. At Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more. More choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones from brands like Samsung. More 5G coverage on the T-Mobile network. And more savings from the most affordable unlimited plan with 5G included. So whether you're heating up your grill game or upgrading your movie setup, now is the time to upgrade to 5G and get more. Only at Metro. turning 87 and you're invited to the party. We have hundreds of Popeyes in stock and ready for delivery. Plus, we can help make your dream a reality with in-house financing for up to 36 months. Last, celebrating 87 years of serving Texas families. Time to check in now with our pump patrol. Let's see where the lowest price of gas is in the RGV. Photojournalist Tilette Garza here on the corner of Conway Avenue and Three Mile in Mission at the HEB where you can find gas going for $3.84 a gallon. Hey everyone, Chief Photographer Mark Vecchio here. We're hanging out in Sat 5 today, taking care of some live shots. It's finally Friday, and if you're looking to fill up your tank for the weekend, come on down to Harlingen on the corner of Stork Place Road and Business 83. Gallon of gas, $3.99. Hello everyone, this is photojournalist Ike Galindo and I am in the corner of McCall and Freddy Gonzalez at the HEB where the gas is $3.92.9 a gallon. All right, $3.92, not bad. Maybe it's coming down a little bit. Just a little bit. Alette, I think, had the best price at $3.84 in Mission. So. Yeah. Better deal, you find it, send us an email, krgv.com. Now for a quick weather update, here's mm -hmm. Alan. Well, if you're saving gas and staying indoors, uh, you might want to at least walk outside this weekend. It is going to be a very nice Saturday. Highs in the 70s, low humidity, a light breeze around. Beautiful day on Saturday. I mean, as we get 
farther into the spring coming up, you know it gets hotter and hotter. So nice day on Saturday. Spring begins on Sunday morning. High is still in the 70s, near 80. Monday looks like a breezy, warmer, more humid day. You'll feel the winds get kind of gusty Monday. And then on Tuesday, we'll have to watch Tuesday because there'll be a drier wind blowing from the north. That could create some fire weather concerns on Tuesday. But after that, some nice days again on Wednesday and Thursday with low humidity and some sunny to partly sunny days. So overall, still not too hot across the valley. We'll keep you updated at 6. And that's going to do it for us. Thanks for joining us at 5. More local headlines in 30 minutes. Have yourself a great evening. Be safe. Bye-bye. Closed captioning brought to you by Channel 5 and Clark Chevrolet McAllen.